It is schoolgirl sampler on Tuesday. Uh, better late than never, I'd say. I missed work yesterday. I uh, had some dad issues. Uh, you know, my dad has Alzheimer's. And uh, he's going through the last stages. And we just had a bump in the road yesterday. And uh, so I couldn't come in. But I uh, got away a little bit today and said, Peter, can you film me? And so he graciously worked me into his schedule. And I, uh, we appreciate that, don't we, gang? So tell Peter in the comments how much you appreciate him uh, upsetting his busy, busy schedule. And, uh, uh, of course, you know, we're working out of this book, and we're almost to the end. And I have enjoyed it. I know I've told you this before. But I think this week's block was my ultimate favorite because I had never made this block before. And it's so simple, and I just don't know why I didn't realize how fun it was and how cute it is. So the blocks we're going to do today are called Spinning Snowball. Who knew how fun a, I call this like a pinwheel, but she's calling it a spinner. So a pinwheel, a spinner, whatever you want to call this, and then put uh, connector corners on it and it becomes a snowball with a pinwheel in the middle. I love that. I would do a whole quilt like that and make all of these different colors. Very scrappy. And so then when they came together they'd make a little four patch of all different colors when they come together if you don't sash between them. And I just think that would be just simply adorable. When you say that, do you mean uh, each block has different colors I on the would, corners? I would put a red one, black one, gold one, pink one, and on the next one I put all different ones, and on the next one I, and then when I butted them uh -huh. up together, it'd if make when a, I put four, it'd make a little yes, like uh, hourglass yes. block. Yes, yeah, that, that would be, be awesome. Fun? Yeah, with all the spinning uh, pinwheels. And then this one, very basic. You know, she tends to put one that has multiple steps in here at the last with these that don't have much to think about uh, in the way of piecing. So this is really fun. I've made this block before lots of times. And it looks plain, uh, but it's got a good impact it especially if you put several together and made them different colors too it looked like a, a brick road or something you know uh, very very fun so um, to get started it's very easy I wanted to show you that in this block here we've already made this block because on page 40 On page 40, look, there's, she calls it the turnstile, I call it a pinwheel. But there's the pinwheel, so we're going to make that block today. And then, on page 50, I think it's 56, but let me look. 58. Then on page 58, look what we have here, the snowball. So we've actually already made that block once, well, what, half of it one time and half of it another time. So I thought that was pretty fun to go back and look. And you know, this is going to be, this book is going to be a resource. I'm When I get done with this book, it's going to go in my library because it's going to be a great resource for me for when I have to look up things that, you know, inspire me. These, all these blocks inspired me. And so if I'm kind of stuck in a, creative funk this would be one of the good books that I could go back to and that would maybe feed my juices a little bit so I, I love this book and uh, it's just gonna go right in my library so let's look at the blocks a little bit here this is my uh, spinning snowball and uh, I kind of mimicked her except for I didn't go the real bright Christmas green because you know I'm using this Kim Deal uh, fabric so I made my pinwheel still with the red and then my connecting corners with the green Cappy went all hog wild with her stripedy one and isn't that cute and she made him go like this oh that should maybe be striped maybe she didn't make him like that <laughs> 
I thought they were all gonna go stripedy like that. Still looks good though. I think it's very cute. I don't remember her ever using this fabric, but it is adorable with all these little stars and circles and sunbursts and all that. And then all of her flamingos have their heads cut off except for there's a head, so it goes somewhere with one of those. <laughs> She just got back from the beach. I wonder if she... Oh, she did see a flamingo in the... Was it Tampa? Was that the airport that she I was at? I think so. They have a gigantic, humongous... It was uh, huge. ...flamingo. And she said she was going to bring it back and put it on her desk. And then rectangular four-patch. Pretty simple. But she got great contrast. I got good contrast. So that's probably the lesson for this block is you just want something that has really good contrast for that. Okay? So let's start. Look, our, our um, elements are pretty simple. Some uh, triangles, some squares, and some rectangles. When we do this block right here, which is the spinning snowball, I usually tell you when they have that weird increment to go ahead and uh, bump it up but this time you can't do that don't do it okay don't do it Ethel make them exactly what it says and then cut them exactly how it says so I'm going to take these and I stacked them all on top of each other because they can all be sewn the same direction and I'm just going to stack one on top of the other I like to put my light on the top. Don't know why. Just a thing. Now, I am going to sew on this pointed corner oh, here. Boy. And I don't have my regular sew machine. It's at the uh, hospital getting of cleaning and uh, adjusting and all that. So, I do not have my single hole plate. So, let's just breathe easy. And... I was going to bring some fabric so I could have a leader and ender, and I forgot, so. I wonder if there's any in my bucket. Yeah, I'm I sure there's use. stuff in your bucket. I just threw away a bunch of stuff out of my bucket, so. I don't know. Let's try this. There we go. Now that just, that leader just helps to keep the thread, mm -hmm. some little tension on the thread so that the thread doesn't pull the point down. Yes. And a lot of times that's how I make my uh, potato chip blocks. I just have a little pile over here of potato chip blocks all cut out and ready to go. And I use them as my leader and enders. And you, you uh, we need to stop. Okay. We need to stop. Okay, let's Did stop. Did you get a new accessory on your watch? No, I don't. Is that think a new so. bracelet? Oh, the band? Yes. Yeah, I got a new band. I love that, it, that Dawn. That leather band was suffocating. Oh, it was you just know, I like that a lot. You? Yes. You know, I almost sewed that upside. I almost sewed that wrong. So. I'm sorry for That's interrupting. That's okay. That's okay. I just need to make everybody, I need to draw attention to your wonderful, uh, <laughs> your wonderful okay. watch band. Okay. And so, um,. Mm. Yeah, so my leaders and enders are just one of those things that I've always used because there's nothing more frustrating than to have a, a goober on the back of your sewing project or to have that point pulled down into your uh, feed dogs. That's very annoying. I bet you've all experienced that. I know I have. And I don't like it very much. You know, you should have your machine cleaned and oiled and adjusted every year. And so, mine is here. We have a little hospital here in the shop. We have a couple doctors on staff. And uh, they are working to get everybody's machines back to them so they can do their Christmas uh, sewing. Have you got any Christmas sewing to do, Peter? I don't. No? Nobody at your house is getting a, a sewn project? No, they're not. Is anybody at your house going to get a knitted project? No, they're not. How about a cross stitch? Nope. How about a needle punch? No. Oh, my goodness, Peter. What are you just going to do? Just go to the store and buy stuff? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, where's my clapper? Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. No, I got to go get my clapper. Stay here for a minute. 
Okay, got my clapper. Had to go to my locker and get it. Uh, that's where it lives. Oh, before I press these open, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this corn kernel off. So it won't be in my way, won't be bulky. And the corn kernel is the point where the seam is. It's not this one over here where there's no seam. It's the one here with by the seam. So when you're cutting those off, make sure you cut the right one. Okay. Yeah, I so enjoyed uh, making that uh, spinning snowball. So fun. And what a simple concept, you know. Just take your uh, uh, pinwheel block and make a snowball. That's so cute. I could just see a hundred uses for that. Well, maybe three, but you know, a good block. Well, I can't believe that you're not making anything for Christmas. Is it just too much pressure? Is that what it is? It's just not as interesting as making stuff for yourself, Dawn. Oh, oh, is that what's going on? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize. Yes. Okay, so. Okay. It's much more exciting to be making stuff for yourself. Okay. Let's just face it. Let's just face it. Okay, now we're going to take this, these blocks, and we're going to take our larger triangle. And this is my background, and this is my background. So these go here, and those go like that. All right. So I'm going to sew these together. And I'm going to sew with the seam up. Now, if, you're, if one of your blocks, one of your triangles is bigger, probably the one that you cut out of your... Just kind of center it on there. See, there's a little thing. I am going to size these up, and I'll just be cutting off a shaving. It'll just be a shaving. I wish she would have uh, given us a little bit more uh, wiggle room. Like an Emma? Yeah, like no, not like an Emma. Those two girls need to get together and compromise. That's what they ought to do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, anyway... I think another round of COVID's going around. We've got somebody here at the shop. Uh, she she doesn't work out front. She works in the back here. That has COVID. We've got uh, my friend Tammy and her mother have COVID. I noticed on one of the... Um, oh, The Voice. They're staying six foot apart. And the backup people have uh, masks on. So I think there's another round of it going around. I don't watch the news, so I don't really know what the scoop is on that. But um, people around me, I don't have it. You don't have it, do you, Peter? Nope. No. We're feeling pretty healthy, aren't we? Very. Like an ox. Yeah. Did you ever have it? Did you ever get it? Uh-uh. Yeah, I got it twice. I got, you got it twice? I got the first strain and then I got the Delta strain. So you're like a frequent flyer. I'm a frequent flyer because you got I've your, been on Delta. You got your, you got your, I've been on your Delta. punch card punched twice. <laughs> yeah, frequent flyer miles and all that, you know. I just can't believe it's three years later and we're still deal, like, talking, about, talking it, about it. Dealing with it, yeah. <laughs> That's what's nuts. Yeah. Oh, see how that flipped up? Well, you're fast. Gotta lift that foot up, get that down. You just wouldn't sew over that. No! Peter, you know me better than that. Okay, I'm gonna start. I Even need... when you're tired, like at midnight or one or two and you're sewing? Yeah, hey, I was sewing these at two o'clock this morning. And, you know, hold on, I, I mean, gotta not check that all one. the seams. Not that one, oh. it's this one. Oh. Well, you don't catch anything. Well, I don't like that when you that really happens. You really don't catch anything. Well, I don't like it when it happens. I mean, the back of this could be the front. The back could be the front, and the front could be the back. So I'm just going to uh, put these through because uh, I need to get those out so I can press them. Cappy didn't even catch any of her seams. Well, see, that's the way you're supposed to sew. Oh. That's the way your blocks stay flat. Don't you know? Oh, that's the secret. That's the secret. It's not really a big secret, but. Okay. 
Okay. Are you looking forward to Christmas, Peter? I was looking forward to Christmas as soon as it turned December 1st. Okay. Actually, I was looking forward to Christmas six months ago when the Christmas fabric started coming in. Really? It yeah. does come in early, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, it, boy, it does. And, and why is that, do you think? Uh, because people have to have time to make those ginormous Christmas quilts exactly. for everybody in their family. Exactly. Not everybody's like you, Peter. Pe people want to make things for people. Okay, y'all need to tell me in the comments right now. Please, 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 please. Why do you craft, make things for other people? Why? Why? Because they're made with love and you want to share the love. You gotta share the love, Peter. Is that why? Now, can you buy something that somebody else handmade and then share their love? Well, or does that not work the same? I suppose, but it's not your love you're giving. It's somebody else's love that they don't even know. I just know. haven't been educated on the matter. Oh, I see. So when somebody gives you something handmade from them, okay. do you not feel the love? Now let me think back. When was the last time I got something handmade? I know somebody gave you a... Uh, oh, a, I did. I did. I got an ornament. For your, oh, yeah, you got an ornament. I got ornament. an ornament. And what about that... Uh, I got a boot, a little Christmas cross -stitch, western boot. Your cross stitch uh, bag that uh, the cross stitch girl gave you. Yes, my pa my project bag. Project bag. That's what I couldn't think of. Project bag. Project bag. I do have a couple things. You do, don't you see? And how'd that make you feel? Those are very special items. Yes, they are. You do feel very good. See, and the person giving it is giving of themselves. So they're happy that you're happy, and they're happy, and you're happy that they're happy, and everybody's happy. So it's like a give, give, win, win. Right. Okay, now I'm going to square these up. It doesn't say what size to square them up, and there's nothing to compare it to, so I'm going to tell you what size. It's two and a half, okay? It doesn't say that in the book, all right? But I want you to know that you're squaring these up to two and a half, and if you have more than a little tiny sliver like that, then you are measuring wrong or sewing wrong or pressing wrong or cutting it out wrong. A horse whisker, folks. Something, something's going wrong. Just a horse whisker. If you have just any more than just horse a whisker. little horse whisker. <laughs> I think that's more like a Chloe eyelash if you ask me. That piece was that came off that. Yeah, that Chloe, she's so cute. Oh yes. man, we've been looking for her. She had this toy when she was an itty bitty baby, and it was a Christmas dog. Oh. Now, in the meantime, we've gotten her Christmas moose. We've got her Christmas bear. You know, but nothing was like Christmas dog. She loved that Christmas dog. We've been trying to find that Christmas dog. Another one. It ain't happening. And Can Christmas dog, one? I have, well, I have repaired Christmas dog so many times that it's mostly just Can strings Can you reverse right now. engineer it? Well, it might, but uh, I've cut off two of its arms, and I've taken its neck down to its chest, because mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the neck had been gnawed off. I mean, gnawed almost in two. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't. And Dawn might have to. I I think. So Chloe Bear, a new bear. Yeah, I might have to get her a, a new, new dog. dog. Christmas dog. Christmas a Christmas dog. dog. And you can put Christmas bear on one side of the room, and you can put Christmas dog on the other side of the room, and you say, "Go get Christmas dog," and she'll get Christmas dog. Ah. And you can say, "Go get Christmas bear," and she'll go get Christmas ah. bear. Oh, that's a smart puppy. She's smart. She takes after her aunt. What can I say? Okay, now just a little sliver. And you notice I was cutting those corn kernels off. Look, there's a, just a little sliver. And I'm cutting these corn kernels off. And just to get rid of bulk, definitely. And then I'm going to press those open. So, um... Have the company Christmas party started for anybody? We had ours last night. I didn't get to go. I'm really disappointed. But Cappy said 
that she's going to ask every, we have an ornament exchange, and she's going to ask everybody to bring their ornaments so I can get to see them, because I didn't get to see them, because I couldn't go, so. And there were a few others that didn't get to go, and I think we'd all like to see the ornaments, because a lot of people give away handmade ones, Peter. That they, they make themselves. You sure they just didn't buy them love. from Goodwill and said, "Oh, this looks handmade. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna buy this and give it away." Well, I don't know. Some people might have done that. I don't know. Lenine shops at Goodwill a lot. You know, I might have to go to Goodwill and see what handmade items they have there that I can go. get. There you go. There you go. You never know what you're I mean, gonna find at Goodwill. I mean, people are always cleaning out their stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, my stuff will be at Goodwill someday because I don't have any kids, so I don't have anybody to leave anything to. So when I croak, all right, I'm gonna put this. we'll put it on Facebook. <laughs> you all can come to my house and just have a heyday. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, that's funny. You could make a Facebook group, uh -huh. Dawn stuff, and then everybody just signs up for what they want. Yeah. And then you put their name, name and contact information on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would be able to spread your wealth amongst the community. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, now I'm just going by my diagram. This one has it going like that. This one is like that. See how I'm just following the colors? Like that. And this one is like that. And then there's your pinwheel. And then, so that becomes a four patch. That's it. This one becomes it a four so patch. Hard. I know it does, but it's not that hard. I mean, all this time I kept thinking, even though you said it, I kept thinking that was some weird rectangle they threw in there. Yeah, but it's not. Isn't uh, it awesome? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to, and this is going to become a four patch as soon as I get that other piece out of my sew machine. And if you feel the need to pin, go ahead. I'm just, this is such a little piece. I'm going to just hold it with my fingers. This sew machine does not like to sew on air at all. You have to get it right up to the needle. I think the other sew yep. machine is like that too. It was. Yeah. Your sew machine is sort of like your toothbrush. You don't want anybody else using it, and it just kind of conforms to you. Hmm, kind of like a horse. Really? Sure. But there's lots of horses that have Let multiple somebody else ride your horse. Riders. Then, you know, you get back to riding. It's just not the same. Really? Yeah. They get mad at you. Oh, they do? Because you haven't been around? No, they're like, why Why that other person? Why, you know. Yeah. 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 His butt's bigger or who sharper knows? or what? I who don't know. Who knows? Of course, they got saddles on, don't they? They probably can't feel your butt. I think they can. Can you say butt on Facebook? Yeah. I, I mean yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. I think they can feel everything. Oh, I don't know. Okay. There's so one. These... There's one. Okay, put it this way. There's this one horse. Uh-huh. If, okay, your calf, if it presses your calf like that, yeah. that's enough for that horse to go. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Mm-hmm. Kind of a diva. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pin both of these so I can put them through the machine at the same time. See how I flip that back, make sure that's really lined up with that seam. I like to make sure, you know, that it's all lined up down here, too. Like Have you ever that. let somebody borrow your car or drive your vehicle and then you got in after they did? Uh, well, you know, when you take it to the mechanic, he never puts it back. Yeah, the Where seat's it, back, right, the right. seat's wrong, the, the mirror's wrong, music's, the radio the radio's on something are wrong, different. <laughs> the cup holders are wrong. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I know what you're saying there with that. And then you think you got it right, you drive down the road, and then you're like, okay, the steering wheel's tilted. Yeah. Yeah, it's aggravating. I'm a firm, everybody in this office will tell you I'm a firm believer of put it back the way you found it. Put it back where you found it and the way you found it. And I get a little bit perturbed when that doesn't happen. Every, but a place for everything good. and everything in its place. Yeah, that makes the world go round. Yeah, I'm, I'm really particular about that. You know, when I reach for my toothbrush in the morning when I'm half asleep... 
I don't want to be getting some other kind of brush, like the toilet brush. No, you don't want the toilet no, brush. No, I want the toothbrush. Gotta have the toothbrush. Or the hair, you don't want to brush your teeth with your hairbrush either. I didn't even brush my hair after I blowed it dry today. I forgot I was in such a hurry to get here. I'm not used to being here on Tuesday. Looks the same, pretty much. But it's a different day it's of the, the week. the same people. But it's a different day of the week. Sewing on a Tuesday is not sewing on a Monday, folks. I noticed that Lenine was in awfully early today. Well, today's Tuesday. It's not Monday. Oh, so she just comes in late on Mondays because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to see as much of me, I bet. She says, that dawn's working today. I'm not going in until no, really I No, I believe Monday's even before dawn. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, now this is something we haven't had in a long time. And you know how I love to do these. We've got a point on this side and a point on this side, and we've got to match those points up. And I think it looks like a really good quarter inch, so I don't think we're going to have any issues with this today. And see how those just come right together? And then you pull this one up so that it's even. I like to pin. You know, when I'm matching something on the back, a seam or a, a point, that's when the pins really have to come out. No choice for me. No choice. Okay, so now I'm all ready to go with that. Put that under. And see, that was just a simple four patch. And this is a simple four patch. Just pressing that open. Did you notice when I laid those out, I laid it out like the book. I just flipped every other one. Even though I sewed them all exactly the same, you know, they were a square when I got done so I could flip them either way. So these both the darks point up, these both the darks point down. Now I'm going to put these together. You can see I don't have points, but I do have a seam that I want to match. So am I going to pin, Peter? No. Why, yes, I am. Why, yes, I am. I haven't said that for a while. Peter knew I was going to do We're back pin. To he knew I was going to pin. He just said no just so he could hear me say, why, yes, I am. Or he hasn't been paying one slick of attention this whole year. He said to me today, he said, now those leaders and enders, really, if you're not used to it, it takes a little while to get used to it. But once you do it, you won't be sorry. Yeah, those once leaders, you get they're used a game to it, you'll changer. see an improvement in your quilt blocks. They're a game changer. That's Actually, you like if you say. just apply half of Dawn's techniques that you've learned over the series, mm -hmm. it will drastically improve your quilt blocks. Okay, so look at that. Now we've got um, the four patches done. We're going to press those oh, open. You're off. Am I off a little bit? Well, we'll see how, how bad it is. But you know what? You won't notice when it's held up like this. It looks, it looks perfect. I haven't even pressed it, Peter. How much perfect more can you get? I mean, I can see it. You can? One thread over? Maybe two. Maybe two. I think it's a two thread situation. What I think is you've uh, made your standards just a little bit high since you've been watching these videos. You know what? It's easier to make your standards <laughs> high when it's somebody else's quilt blocked on. I don't see how you can get that any more perfect, Peter. Oh, okay. Now it's pressed. Now that you've, now that you've pressed it. it. Yeah. Did so you now, hear what I said? Yeah, though? I hear you. It's you went in somebody else's. Right, right. somebody else's quilt. Right. So that one was pretty easy, but still very nice to look oh, at. Beautiful. Don't you think? I like that block. Love that color. But now, now's when the fun Yummy. begins. Look at this. Okay. So there's our pinwheel that we've done before. And, you know, we should have uh, quarter, quarter inch. inches all the way in these points. But before we sew it in, we're going to put connecting corners on. And so I'm just going to lay this corner, this square, right into that corner. And I'm going to sew on the diagonal. If you don't have your magic tape, then you're going to have to draw a line from diagonal corner to corner. 
we'll see how this little machine does with this. Come on, little machine. Yeah, this is one, uh, one number lower than mine, but they told me up at the sewing machine department that the only difference between the one I sew on and this one is that the one I sew on has more stitches. Mm -hmm. Well, when I only use the straight stitch, you know, all those other stitches, they just go by the wayside because I don't use them. So, now I'm going to go to the opposite corner. Do it again. There's four corners in a block. I didn't know if you knew that. There's four corners in a square, I mean. I know that's high math. If it's a roundabout, how many corners are there? Oh my goodness, I've never driven through so many <laughs> roundabouts till I started working in Noblesville. <laughs> this is like the, the roundabout capital of the world, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Carmel is. Oh my goodness. Carmel has a roundabout connected to you a know, roundabout. You know, Anderson had, what's that, FOMO, that fear of being left out, you know? Oh, does Anderson have a roundabout? We do. We have one. Oh, no. And it's in the most stupidest. Gosh. No traffic area <laughs> in town. But it can be seen by the interstate. And that's what that mayor wanted, so. Oh. Yeah. It, there was no purpose for it. There was no reason. There's and still was, no reason for it. And that was a million it. dollars, I bet. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea, but you know those things don't come cheap. Roundabouts are millions. Oh, but anyway... And you know, Dawn, it all starts with one. Yeah. I say that's Satan's revenge is what that is, is a roundabout. Oh my goodness, those things drive me crazy. And especially when you've got your GPS on and they say, take the third exit. <laughs> and you have to count and every you're thinking, time. Is is what I'm on an exit? Yes. Do you count that as one? Yes. Or is oh. it the next or one? Or is it the next one? Does it count as one? What's going on? You know, what? what's the deal? Okay, so see, I got them all four sewn on. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and we'll cut that excess off. I don't know how long we've been filming, but these blocks are almost done. I'll be pressing this one open. 22 minutes, but 20... that was before you had to stop and get Oh, the yeah, I had to get my clapper. clapper so add whatever that was to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That. So here we are. We're winding her up. Oh, I I'm going to love this. I love pink and green together. Do you? Yes. Uh, purple and green is nice together. Pink yes. and green is nice together. Red and green, of course, Christmas you mean, colors. Do you mean pink and gray or pink and green? What do you mean, Dawn? Oh, the connecting Pink corners. and green. Well, I hadn't yeah. seen them because they've oh, been yeah. turned over they've the whole time. They've been turned over the whole time, so he didn't know they were uh, green. Well, we're going to find out if I like pink or green. Yeah, I like pink and green together. I like all colors. Yeah, I do too. I think they just all go together. Yeah. I don't know how it works, but they Well, do. if they're the right tone, mm. you know, if they're the right tone. If Cappy was making her blocks with half of the fabric being Tula Pink and half of the fabric being Civil War, <laughs> it wouldn't work. Oh. Uh, yeah, they have to be the same tone. Same intensity. That's a big word. But Civil War fabrics tend to all be the same intensity. You've got your coloring book colors. Those are pure colors. You've got your brights. That's what the tulip pinks are, the brights. Then you've got your neons, you know, your fluorescents. So there's all different... Uh, Okay, now when I get home, I'm going to press that with my steam, but that looks pretty good. Let me see if I can't get that a little bit better hey, over here in my little, I got a little, um, a very hot little mouse pad, wool pad over here that I can just mouse pad iron. Give that just a little, you know, I hate mice. Okay. Lots of Christmas cross stitch have mice in them. Did you ever, did you ever realize that? No. Yeah. Okay, let's put them all together. You know how we love to do that. So can we say that movie that you've never seen is the one finding, or where Fifel gets lost? I don't know who Fifel is. Okay. Okay. So who's Fifel? It's a whole mouse movie. Oh, whole it's a whole movie mouse. of mice. Now I did watch. Uh, oh, what was its name? Oh, he lived with a human family. And I think Michael J. Fox was the voice. But anyway, that was a mouse movie. Mm. Okay, 
Stuart. Stuart Little. Remember oh, Stuart Little? Yes. Yeah, that was a mouse movie. Okay, so there they are. What do you guys think? I'm loving them. I'm loving these. Cappies are wild and crazy, just like Cappy. And here are these from the Peter Blocks. So what do you think of pink and green together? I like that. Do you? That looks nice. And they're the same print. Did you I, notice it's that? Stunning. Did you notice they were the same I print? I did not, Dawn. Yeah. I did not. Yeah, I did that. I was looking through my blocks last night, and I evidently, when I uh, practice making them, you know, I had some that I had practiced with, and they had different backgrounds. I just put them together. I mean, I, I quit sewing them because I made that mistake. I just put them together. I was just sewing last night like crazy. It was 2 o'clock in the morning, and I had sewing fever, so I just got up with my uh, nightgown on and my fuzzy half slippers. Got Christmas socks on today. Oh, yes. See my Hi, Christmas Santa. socks? There's Santa. Those are Moda Christmas socks. Those are fun. Yeah. And um, so, 2 o'clock this morning, got the bug, got up. Dad was awake, but he sat and watched me uh, sew. And uh, got a lot done. You can get a lot done at 2 o'clock in the morning. Nobody's calling you. Nobody's coming to the door. You don't have to fix food for anybody. Uh, the laundry was done. So, you know, you've, you've pretty much got the whole machine to yourself. And that was very Do you ever nice. get the munchies, though? Like, say you get home. Uh, no, You eat Peter. at 5. No. And then you're up, and it's no. like 2 o'clock. And you're like, no. oh, my God, the last time I ate was 5 o'clock. No. You have to eat a lot. I think you have some kind of a little condition where you mm -hmm. have to eat a lot yeah I'll I mean hungry. not a lot now that's wrong I shouldn't no. say it like that small things lots of times during mm -hmm. the day now see that's how my sister-in-law is yeah. like at she, least every four hours she comes from Thailand and that's just how they live their life you know they eat small portions several times I didn't a day. know that yeah yeah and so uh but um no I don't get the munchies I mean if I do I distract myself just right then and there because mind over matter for me i can't be i mean you would think as big as i am that i, I, I eat a lot but i don't i need to apply that method yeah yeah so anyway uh, and it's not good to have your food around your your greasy food around your uh, oh no but a cookie's nice every once in a yeah, while we had the will, cookie talk the cookie other day will sustain. oh peter 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 Okay, so... Now we're going to have the cookie talk after we yeah, film this. Yeah, yeah. So, we're on 68. We've just completed 67 and 68. Don't you feel so proud? Wow. I do. So, keep on going. We don't have that many more. Let me count. No. One, two, three, four. I think four is all we got left. Doesn't it go to 70 something? Four. 71, two, 72. Oh, so we only it. have four more to go. Whoa, whoa. Only two more weeks and whoa. we'll be on our way to putting it together. I've been dreaming about it. Will we how be to done before together. Christmas? Oh, yeah, we'll be done on the 19th. Wow. So get to sewing. Sorry I was late, but uh, better late than never, I said at the beginning. Happy sewing. Bye. Bye, y'all.